So humanoid robots have become incredibly human-like and we need to talk about it. So I know most of you guys have seen the fact that robots usually look like Joe Biden. That has been the running joke for a very long time, but recently everything has changed. This robot right here was tweeted, I think a few months ago or so, and this was essentially figure two, figure two, actually walking across what you can see here is, you know, a patch of grass with, uh, you know, some bushes and stuff like that. And in all fairness, this is actually pretty good for a robot of that, you know, caliber. Now let's actually take a look at what is happening today. So this is figure three, and this is nothing new in terms of overall humanoid robotics, but it is still a remarkable feat of engineering to have humanoid robotics progress, progress so fast that, you know, I'm almost starting to believe that there is a little man in the suit running around in these tech demos. And later on in the video, you'll see that I'm not the only one that is now struggling to believe the things that they're seeing when it comes to humanoid robotics. So one of the things that we can see here, and I know this is just absolutely incredible, is that if you actually slow this video down, and I'm actually going to pause the video at a key point here, you'll see that the robot is actually airborne for a specific moment in time. And I think you have to understand just how incredible that is, because if robots are airborne for a certain amount of time, it means that their, you know, ability to balance, ability to have stabilities to the point where they don't completely fall over is remarkably incredible. Like we've gone from robots that are quote unquote, quote Joe Biden like walking like a senior to completely natural movement and I think it's really impressive just how natural how naturally moving this is because if you would have shown this to someone maybe a year or two ago you would have said number one this is probably CGI or number two this is actually a person in the suit and I'm pretty sure some of you guys remember the Tesla bot when it was revealed it was literally a person in the suit and honestly if you show someone this it just doesn't look like a humanoid robot at all. So, of course, figure three is really, really impressive. And I know that some people are going to say, well, you know, this is just a humanoid robot. It's just another fancy demo. This doesn't actually help, you know, the real world in terms of doing an actual task. The figure three, you know, humanoid robot platform actually has onboard AI that can actually do tasks so it's not just like you know a stable ai that's dancing around in some instances like the unitary g1 or g3 where those robots you know oftentimes they're a bit i guess you could say theatrical now remember guys this tweet what's interestingly enough about this tweet when i saw it it was actually a response to another tweet and it was actually a response to tesla so tesla essentially there was this tweet ages ago where they were like okay you know they've shown the tesla bot well the early versions of the tesla bot and this was in 2024 and of course you can see that someone memed this by putting the joe biden face on the robot which is you know to be honest it's pretty hilarious because you know we do see a lot of memes in ai and stuff like that However, what's important here is that from Tesla 2024, if we actually move that to today, you'll actually be able to see that the new Tesla bot is jogging quite like a human. And this is one of the first times I think personally that I've seen a humanoid that jogs really smoothly. Like the dexterity, I mean, just everything about this robot just looks incredible. And I think the point I'm trying to drive home with this video is that robotics has, you know, fundamentally crossed that uncanny valley where we're starting to enter a period of humanoid robots that look so good, most people cannot fathom that this is even real. This is why I say that the pace of AI and robotics is fascinating because you have to realize where this is going to be in 20 years time. This is the pace of robotics after, well, maybe not one year, because of course, you know, every year before, every year prior was research on top of research, compounding. But what I'm saying is that, you know, that compounding, those exponential gains are starting to be realized. And of course, with more investment, more companies, this is only going to, you know, exacerbate. There are only going to be more and more things going on. So this kind of running, once again, if I pause the video once again, you'll see that at certain points, this is, you know, almost human almost like a human because they are airborne at certain points. You can see right here. In fact, if I get the pause right, I do apologize because it's a bit lagging, but you can see the Tesla Optimus 3 is actually airborne at certain points, quite like a human would. And another thing that most people don't realize as well is that, you know, if you, you know, zoom into the leg there, you can see that the leg has all the bends like a human foot would. So it's really interesting how they've managed to nail this, how they've managed to go from literally a quote unquote Joe Biden robot all the way to the level three, just showing you guys what is possible. And I think one of the most important things here as well is that I think this shows us that oftentimes the hardware isn't the limitation. It's simply the software, the reinforcement learning, 
how they're training the robots in simulation to be able to get this final result because they built this hardware months before but of course after months of training and different software updates the robots can now do more things and i think you are underestimating this because think about it in 20 years time where you have a robot and a simply a small update is able to get your humanoid robot to be able to do a variety of different things it couldn't do before so that's going to be super super intriguing to me and remember guys this isn't the first time this happened I don't know if you guys have seen this one before, but this is the engine AI robot. This is from a Chinese AI robotics startup. And this recent video and other videos like it were going super, super viral because they were just too realistic. Like this first clip right here. And so, yeah, this is the engine AI robot. Like I said, this first clip is super, super surprising with how realistic and human it looks. And yes, engine AI, I will argue that this company not yet doesn't really have any uh, you know, humanoids in terms of ones that can actually do work. But I think the important thing here is showing that the hardware is fully capable of doing that in the future. And once those updates do come out, it, it's probably going to show you guys. And I want to show you guys also this because there was also this tweet where they had to actually show behind the scenes footage because unfortunately they had to set the record straight on the CGI rumors because most people, when they saw this initial clip, they thought it was CGI. Like the clip I showed you before, other clips of the Engine AI T800, yes, that's the name from Terminator. People were like, well, this is probably CGI, so we're not buying it. So this is like really surprising because it's not like random people on TikTok or YouTube are commenting CGI. It is not industry insiders, but people on the AI space and robotic space on Twitter that are regularly exposed to this kind of content. They are the ones saying that, wow, this is most certainly CGI. And these companies are coming out now and are having to prove people completely wrong. Like, yo, guys, this isn't CGI. This is 100% complete hardware. It's just really, really good reinforcement learning and applying these incredible software updates to the robots over time. So I think this is only going to improve. Like what you're seeing right now is incredible. We're, we're seeing robots that are able to do things before that they weren't able to do. And, you know, once again, people are probably going to say that some of these examples are mostly theatrics, which I could argue. But once again, I'm going to make that point. This is just to show how the hardware performs. And in the future, think about it, okay? If an AI is able to run, jump, it's able to fly kick, punch, it's able to, you know, do different tasks. I mean, if it's able to do things just like a human would, that just goes to show where our future will be. So I truly do believe that robotics is going to be one of those areas in the future that has a really really big moment. I don't know when that moment is going to be. You've seen the One X Neo, but I do believe that that moment, once again, like that deep seek moment is going to happen. Maybe it's going to be with a consumer robot, but I do know that somewhere in the past month or so, there were just a slew of different robots that demonstrated that they're no longer this stiff, normal walking humanoid. Robots are now much more fluid than their counterparts. Now, I will argue this one point though, before we get, you know, overzealous and overconfident with these kind of predictions. When you see these robots running and jumping and doing all of these crazy things, I will say that it is, of course, different to a human that's able to run around different environments, you know, being able to balance with different things in their hands. That is, of course, something that most humans can do. But you do have to remember that, you know, sometimes I'll be watching people running online and sometimes people run and fall over. So, you know, at what point do we declare humanoid robots better than the average human because even I can't do some of those you know 360 jumps and you know crazy crazy high kicks that you're seeing these robots doing so I would argue that these robots are probably better than most humans because most humans probably can't do that now this video wouldn't be complete if I didn't actually show you guys the Xpeng humanoid robot and I would argue that this is a once again another robot that truly does look like just another human in a suit and I would argue that if you showed this to me like as a video and you just sent this to me through a DM or just a message with no further context, I would say, wow, that's really cool. Those models are walking in a suit for a future demonstration of what the robots could be like. However, we do know that this is actually real. And the point that I'm trying to make here is that once again, it got so crazy, so wild that they actually had to cut open the robot on stage to prove that it was actually a robot underneath because people couldn't believe 
the realism of these robots. So this is literally them on stage, cutting open a robot, cutting open the legs and saying, look guys, it's actually a real robot. Look at the actuators, look at the legs, look at the joints, look at all of the you know bearings and just everything underneath there. And that is, I think the moment that truly shows you just how crazy that is. Because when XPeng, this is a company by the way, you know, did the first demonstration, people were very, very skeptical. So I think what this shows us is a new level of human and robotics that we should be really looking forward into the future thinking, okay, we're now at the point where humanoid robots are so advanced in terms of their realism, in terms of their movement, that most of us can't tell whether or not it's real or fake. And I think it's going to be super interesting to see how these robots develop over time.